Hello, Fever to Come Sir. Who reviews? I debuted The Flash Armageddon Part 2. And if you thought Part 1 good, you haven't seen anything yet. And this is the uh, beginning where I left off with the uh, Desperate just say telling Barry it's going to be watching from under if there's a slight chance. He, he will go crazy. Desperate will take Barry out. Um, Barry tried to reassure his team that hey, he's not going to go crazy and start killing a lot of people. Uh, talking to Iris, he's a little worried that he might uh, lose it. I guess a call about this uh, bank guard going crazy and attacking people. Uh, he was going to investigate it. But then uh, Chris and Kramer come demanding the Barry uh, hand over his badge since he's suspended for suspicion of uh, committing a crime. Be, be like being a mole on the GTC, GTC, uh, the Central City Police. Like, I think he's connected to uh, the person that Ed Sunshine worked for back in season 6, I think. Can't remember. Hmm. And uh, things weren't bad enough. As the satellite was being shut down because of the radiation problems. And the Guy uh, that that tell him the the Baron that he took down, they gave an awful line. No grown adult to say make a make a banana and split. It's just awful. I I cringe and I'm like, I'm a god cringe and I see it. Anyway, Barry just tells everybody to get what they need for the SEM yeah, to place down and turn out they might even demolish it and put it in a toxic waste dump or something. Um, Barry does have Gideon a big hologram over some of the Team Flash stuff and Gideon suggests to wipe off uh, Team Flash uh, information from the Star, uh, the Star Lab servers, including herself. Yeah. Oh yeah, and Alex has the uh, made a cameo in this and saying that they don't really, they, like, the DEO don't have any information on Despro and that. Uh, so you go, go back in near the end, but I'll get that another time. I mean, Barry will find the Medium that turned the, uh, the guy crazy and her name's uh, Zoltar. Yeah, apparently it sees a uh, a ten ten like a uh, many human like they can control minds and the uh, big things float and that and it turns out he used to work in the uh, Nassau city, so I guess he just got bored and he kind of puts the whammy on Barry and. Uh, Yes, he wakes up uh, in his uh, loft with uh, Chester, uh, Yolanda, and uh, Caitlin defend themselves, and it's a wreck. And turns out he nearly electrocuted or threw a lightning bolt at Chester. Yeah. It's not really Barry's day, is it? Oh, yeah, and before Sal Labs was uh, closing down, Frost has to ask Chester to build. Uh, device that seriously hurt Despero, but Cesar is kind of uncomfortable with it since he's a pacifist. And it, there's a good scene with Cesar explain why he's a pacifist. Apparently, uh, when he's a kid, he said like a toy uh, weapon, and he uh, accidentally burned down his uh, best friend's house. Now, I don't think it's his backstory being a pacifist need to be like 
that dramatic, maybe, to close to said, it's because of his uh, father's death or something, but I think the, the actor playing Chester uh, did a great job with it, and just talking to I Yolanda was, uh, I mean, uh, Cam Camilla? Well, it was a, a, a good scene. And uh, Barry faces uh, Zoltar ag again and sees just bend his bones this way, that way, every way. And turns out since Barry is uh, uh, super powered now, or just uh, leveled up, he's able to generate his own lightning. And as he fires it at the Zoltar, and I'm surprised it hadn't hit anybody else. Uh, things seem to be good with Team Flash celebrating. Uh, when Barry suggests they go to Joe's and Seals and have Joe um, cook for them, yeah, things start go crazy again since, yeah, Joe's dead. Apparently he died six months ago, so sometime around the end of season seven. And Barry really taking it that well, and uh, and uh, Lucille's actually given out to him since uh, he just said treating Joe Zed like it was, didn't even happen. And then kind of get worse when Art puts on the news and turns out the Flash went on a rampage on the Central City. I like, didn't really kill anybody, but a lot of people were seriously hurt. And that's all Despero needed to get, uh, try to kill Barry. And we still do try to fight him off with her empathic power, but yeah, Despero just really puts her to sleep that he's that strong. And Barry will always wake himself up, but Team Flowers actually comes and saves him. Barry just uh, runs off, and Despero just warns him. That uh, if they uh, interfere again, that's what we're saying. Fate. Oh, you also seeing with Death Row giving his uh, backstory. Apparently, uh, he did have it. He was he, he did live in in a home planet once, and he was a resistance fighter. And when he had the, the chance to actually kill the person that uh, did a lot of evil on his planet. He decided not to, and that's what got that person to rise up again and balance him to Earth. And that's why he's so a like, gun ho of it protecting dirt and killing Barry. And uh, Alex also began to saying that the DO only heard rumors about uh, Despero's planet, and so uh, uh, Kara and uh, John are off world, so. They can help. But it's not happening that Alex got hope again, but I will say. And there's an end scene with Barry in the Hall of Justice. And Black Lightning's there as well, and that's Barry, why is he here? And Barry just tells him to start to some about injustice, injustice. And. Yep, this this episode just got crazy and then calm and crazy again. And yeah, if they do stick with the Joe death, I don't think that many people will be happy that he actually died off screen. The, the actor plays all just gets like time off or something, or did something bad happen to him? Like, I know season 5 had that big like, back problem, so I'm just wondering here. It, I don't know. And I read the summary for the next uh, three uh, parts of this, and Ruflash does uh, show up, so maybe he'll have something to do with uh, what's going on with the Armageddon event, so, hmm. And does some like, uh, good scenes. In it, whether it's with the uh, Chester and Allegra or Barry and Iris and Barry, I I agree with the some of the comments that I left on the uh, 
the promos, Barry does seem to be act more like a leader this time around. And I think that's uh, pretty good. And, uh, yeah, just can't wait to see what to happen next. And I can't wait for more characters from different shows to show up. And, uh, yeah, wouldn't surprise me if next week going to be even crazier than this one. But it's, how do I say? Anyway, until then, I'll see you guys later.